How's it going? This is Zoltan Wallace. Kind of a, a, a rough, informative view on Onyx. So we're running multiple things together right now and then throw our movers in there as well. It's all to push up a button. All pretty simple. We're going to go through this how we do it through Onyx, our APC40. Let's get into what makes this work so incredibly well. I use to patch me into this program right here. To set it up, this is the hard part that I do for you guys, is I have this entire show file set up. So if you look up here by the clock on Onyx, we're just going to unlatch this from Onyx. Boom. You'll see device removed to show cockpit Onyx has been removed from the system. So we latch it again to show cockpit Onyx has been added to the system. So now when we do that, then we get full control. You see our MIDI values down here are changing while we're changing the lights. All we have to do is know how we want our APC. You click on it, click new window. Right now we're in live mode. So if you look at the console, it's in live mode. If we click on edit mode, now we're gonna be in a part to where based on buttons that we hit, we can edit how the controller is going to look. And then we can edit how the controller looks in the buttons are not used position. And again, for the initialization, that is when it's turned on, when it's successfully latched, but we haven't pushed any buttons yet. How this program works with Onyx is in our mapping. So first in our mapping, we want to make sure Onyx is selected as our function. So they have a fader, a button, an encoder. Um, and then we have other faders that I have set as our grandmaster fader. By default, this one on the controller acts as your main dimmer. It turns red at zero to let you know that it's off because it overrides everything, everything. I put a bunch of extra tape down here because this fader does not have any resistance. So I put some layers of tape here to make resistance so I'm not accidentally hitting it all the time. Right here. We could turn it on with that button. We could turn the next one on with that button. And notice when we turn the next one on with that button, the other one turns off. That's not Onyx that does that. That is Show Cockpit. See, it highlights here. Look at all of these different commands. I'm making this first button to output all those commands into Onyx right away. So when I hit the first button, you'll see it's going to hit go right here on button number one. But when I hit it, so when I hit one, it releases every other playlist in that row, except for itself, of course. Playlist two says go, it'll turn off one and then three through 10. That is how we have our color palette set up because these first eight segments are multicolor. They're three color buttons. So this row right here, I have turned into my pages. This is how I switch from page eight to page five to page two. And when doing so, you see at the bottom of our screen, we change our playbacks from page seven to page four, which brings up different playbacks allowing the faders down here to always control whatever playback is visible, whatever playback bank is at the forefront, which in this case, it is currently number four. So when we change a bank, we can start a playback. You'll see that we've changed the bank. The light up here is no longer lit. The playback is still running on bank three, but it, these controls are now control, only controlling whatever the play uh, bank is in the front so it's two so if i go back to page three or is it four there we go back to page four you'll see it lights up again because we go back to that page the playbiz is still running so it's going to automatically highlight these are all stuff this is all stuff that i set up in show cockpit after you have it and you're working it and you're running it and you get used to it then i can show you how to change what you don't like after you do a couple changes, you're going to be like, oh, dude, this is easiest programming. We have other buttons. I hit a button down in our playback. So I, I lit up this one down here. This down here that I loaded with the button and the, the fader. Now I'm going to add a moving effect, which is another button. 
And this can all be pushed pretty much at the same time. So I'm going to hit my release down here. It's a row three, one through three release. Boom. And so let's go ahead and add that chase back on. Let's add on a different chase. Okay, so now we, you see we've had another chase. We're going to fade down our playlist. And now we're going to release our one through four rows. And it's going to get rid of the intensity effects that we've put on these light bars. And it will get rid of these, our park hands. But it does, that release doesn't touch our playback and it didn't touch our movers and how about i just want to get rid of just the movers we'll go ahead and we'll put back on what we just had our movers are still going now i got a separate release for just my movers so if we just want to release that portion of it boom they're gone how about i want to release everything except for q lists that i have that are immune to being re released by everything Hit release all, and it will kill everything except for this top row of stuff that I have here. And that's only because I have it block global release. That's it. It's simple. So you can create stuff that has its own release that ignores global releases, which allows you to start and stop things as you wish, not stopping everything and starting everything at the same time. So moving the rig in portions getting getting uh you know taking footsteps through your transitions instead of just jumping from one transition to another so we have our purple here we know we're going to be going maybe to a different type of purple maybe a more pronounced red and blue i'm going to bring up this magenta chase it's going in the background let's go ahead and we will increase that just a little bit more I think that's a good chase. You can't see it yet. Now I'm going to start fading back this playlist and you'll start seeing it. So now you can see the chase. So we got the playback faded a little bit. Um, yeah, so you can see it's doing the chopstick thing and it's working with the fading effect of the playlist at the same time. Um, let's say I wanted to run some cool effects. Let's say I was already running cool effects. I'm, I'm building this as if we're already in the middle of a song and we're going to go to a different song to cover a couple songs. And you can also incorporate this into beat mixing. So if we go back here, let's say we want to get the crowd into it. Doom, 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 doom. So we come back up here, our second page, I have them as blinding effects on our park hands only to it. We can add other color impression with it so if you look on the the cue list right here anything that's circled in blue is a chase anything that's circled in red is a um is an override inhibitors are yellow submasters are blue um sorry no submasters are not blue they are green our chases are pretty easy we can have each individual one run on the global chase speed or we can have them run on their own individual timing. <clears throat> I like the own individual timing thing because it allows me to use that button's, that, that cue list's very own play button as the beat timer. So every one of these buttons is its own beat timer for its own button. Uh, another cool thing we can do with the controller. So what we can do is we have this one on at full. Uh, one more thing, before running a show, I open that up and I close it because the second we're in the effects channel, the second effects channel is an, an encoder that controls it specifically. So if we're looking right on the programmer, and that's what this knob is controlling is our global effects rates. That turns everything's effects rates up and down by a percentage value. It's nice. It's a linear change keeps things moving together. But I have different speeds because sometimes we want to affect, boom, look at that, just froze the rig. Everything frozen. So I can make this easily a button right here and just have it a one push. Or I can just put it on a fader. But while I have that up, 
I can reset my speeds. I'm going to go really fast on these so you can see what I'm doing. These are going to be like super fast. So these are effects rates on different parts of the rig. So I'm going to come out of freeze and look at it. It's going crazy. I'm going to dial this one back a little bit. Bring that one to a crawl. That's our light bars. Everything else still going nuts. We'll bring this one back to a... And then finally our bigger park hands. We'll slow those down to a crawl. So now we just gave ourselves a varying look in a matter of seconds. These are affecting certain parameters, but they're playlists that are overrides because they're purple. So as those are overriding, we'll put everything back to normal. Everything is back to where it should be. 100% everything's moving where its playlist says it should be moving. No alterations. So we have other ones down here. Um, this one, if we enlarge our seconds so you can see these numbers. So 15 is our front of house effects lights. So if you see our front of house there, we're now creating some cool effects that are not crazy effects for on our performers' heads. But you can dial that back, and as we dial it back, it just slowly... So this is probably where I'd run it, like a nice little twinkle, you know, during... And it doesn't have a beat. So we'll leave it there as a demonstration. If you have any questions, let me know. This is your sound system speaking. I am now in control. All right, so we're going to start out with our intensities all the way up. Um, we have nothing running. Let's get some purple started. We know we're going to start with that. Um, we'll go ahead and select that with presets so we can get something looking in the background. Get it that change. We're going to have to get it ready for a drop. And we're going to do... I know this looks weird, but it's, it's actually making white on the back wall. Still don't have any movers in there yet. We're doing the build up. We're doing the build up. This is your sound system speaking. Your sound system speaking. 